Today I'm going to show you three simple and easy ways to record gameplay on your console, no matter Xbox or PlayStation. It works for both. So today I'm going to tell you three simple ways to record gameplay on your console. Yes, three easy ways and some of you guys might actually already know this, some of you have, might already be using these methods, but it's pretty simple, you know. I'm going to be upfront with you, two of these are free, one of these you're going to have to buy a certain equipment. You know, and for those of you who use a phone to record gameplay off of your TV like you're taking video of it, just please, please don't. It will get you nowhere, that quality sucks. The audio is probably trash and just 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 don't do it please guys don't do it all right so started off with number one obviously you're gonna have to own a next-gen console either an Xbox one or a PlayStation 4 unfortunately for you you guys that have PlayStation 3s and Xbox 360s this might not work maybe one of these methods might but yeah so the first one is, uh, these consoles already have in-game recording DVRs, however you want to call it, game recording. It's obviously not the best, I think the limit on the Xbox, I think it's called Upload Studio or, or something like that, it's one of the apps. I actually, myself, started YouTube with that app, so look at me now, I'm big time, no I'm just playing, I'm totally fucking kidding guys, but honestly, this is a good method. I'm not too sure if the PlayStation 4 has a similar app like the, the Xbox does with Upload to where you could record gameplay, you know, you have your little DVR open, you get, you record, I don't know, 5 minutes, I think 5 is the max, so you would probably be making videos of roughly 5 minutes, give or take, or what you could actually do if you go a step above, you know, I guess this is a bonus tip for the first one. You can actually, what you do is record those five minutes, you know, for whatever, it's just straight gameplay, right? And then let's say you want a longer video for whatever reason. You're gonna have to make sure your account, whatever email it is connected to your Xbox, or I'm not too sure if it works on PlayStation, but I know this one works on Xbox, cause I used it. You go to onedrive.com, Make sure you have the same email and anytime you use that app, you can choose to upload it to OneDrive. So it's like you're pretty much transferring the video from your Xbox console to a computer, be it a laptop or a PC, you know? And even better, if you have actual editing software on your computer, that will just make your video way, way better because then you can mess around with it and actually fine and tune it and however you want your video to sound, look and all this good stuff, you know. But then on the other end, if you don't have a computer or, or editing software in general, you can always upload or render and all that in the upload app, you, whatever, you record the five minutes, right? And then what you can actually do when you go in the app, it gives you the ability to add a voiceover, which is pretty useful. It's pretty cool, you know, so you have five minutes to talk about whatever you want to talk about and you just, you go with it, you roll with it. Obviously, you're not really going to be able to do let's plays because you can't really do the over, the, I'm not too sure if the, the app actually records your voice while you play. It might, it might not, you know, this was a long time ago. I, I've not used it in maybe a year. So obviously it might be updated and might actually have that feature. Maybe, maybe not. But like I said, use that app. Most likely that's on play or well, that same app is probably not on PlayStation, but something similar to it is. So there's always that. So that's obviously gonna be number one. So for starting off, five minutes and whatever upload studio gives you, I think it's sufficient for you guys to start up your channel and just feel for yourself find yourself and just have a good time making videos but if for some reason you want to actually do let's plays and you want your actual commentary on the game while you're playing it number two is going to be for you so number two 
does take a computer. I'm not too sure if you can do it on your phone. I've never tried it. You know, this is another experience that I had. This is like pretty much me. The first thing I started with and gr slowly graduate, uh, graduating, yeah, graduating to a, a better, a better method, a better quality of video and everything like that, right? So number two, I'm going to say stream on Twitch. So the cool thing, I know PlayStation has this, the ability to stream. I think PlayStation actually has its own streaming service. I'm not too sure because when I've seen people stream on PlayStation, they have like this cool little menu. I don't know how it works, but obviously you could do it on Twitch. I think it's Switch. I think that just PlayStation gives you more options than Xbox does. But I have no idea how that works. I don't, you know, I don't want to ask because I'm not a PlayStation guy. I'm honestly more of a PC Xbox guy. But with the Xbox, what I used to do when I actually wanted to have my voice with the gameplay, I would just stream. You know, hook up a headset. You know, it could be that shitty ass Xbox headset that comes with your console. It could be your actual headset. You know. Uh, a turtle beaches astros whatever it is hook it up you know set up make sure you have a twitch account and make sure before you start this go into your twitch settings and make sure your settings are to archive your stream because if you do don't do this twitch will not save your streams and then in in sense you won't have your recorded gameplay and your audio right so all you gotta do, really simple, like I said, make an account on Twitch, go to the settings after you make the account, make sure you have archive videos, or archive streams, and then after your stream is done, you know, it's done processing, uploading, whatever, there's gonna be a section in your Twitch, like, profile, which shows your latest streams, and it gives you the ability to export the video to YouTube. So it's pretty much, Twitch is kind of way better than upload because it gives you unlimited time and it lets you actually have a voiceover during gameplay but the thing with twitch is when you export videos i think a mandatory i don't know if it's mandatory anymore but before it would cut your videos in 15 minute bits so let's say if you do like a two hour stream three hour it's going to be cut into 15 minute videos you know that might be beneficial to you i don't know how you're going to feel about that but that's pretty much how twitch does things over there so that's another method like i said number two for those of you who actually want to have that gameplay and that commentary in the same video very simple very easy do it on your xbox do it on your playstation but make sure you go into settings and archive that stream so obviously the last one is left is number three and this is the paid one where you actually have to buy something and that something is in elgato this is a gift from heaven no lie you can see the gameplay in the background this is star wars battlefront I have my Elgato recording at max settings, 1080, 60 frames per second. This is pretty much as good as it's going to get on console. Obviously, it could get a little bit better on, what do you call it, on PlayStation 4, but that's not, not here nor there. So, obviously, it's very, very simple. All you really have to do is connect your Elgato to your computer. Make sure it's a PC. Make sure it's a desktop. Don't do it on a laptop because the Elgato is going to fry your laptop, you know what I mean? Just a word of warning, do it on a desktop. You hook it up, you get the drivers, you get the update, you do what you gotta do, then you hook it up to your console, and then you're good to go. You get your little menu, and you alter the settings. Some of you might have to put down the setting a little bit, the quality of the video. Maybe you're not gonna be able to do 60 frames per second because your computer's not capable of that. And some of you might be able to do 1080, 60 frames just like I am. But anyways, that's pretty much it. You know, hopefully these three tips helped you in any way. And if they did, go ahead and leave a like. And let me know which one you chose out of the three. Leave it in the comments below. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.